What's good, family? It's your boy, Unico Williams, with a new episode of 99 Sports. It's your boy, Unico Williams. Happy to be back with my boy, Lay Alpha Zell May. It's your boy, La Alpha. You know how we coming. We looking cute. We looking clean. And we looking sexy. Sexy. And when you know this day in sports, we're recording this Sunday night, this day in sports, and yesterday was crazy. So let's talk about it. Gonna do with two hands like me, boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, listen here. NBA playoffs started this past Saturday. It's going down. As a matter of fact, well, it was this past Friday, or was it this? No, it's this past Saturday. Officially started. Playing games are over with. Uh, but before we get into that, we gotta give a legend, a OG on that on the 18 holes. We gotta give them some love. Who it is? It's Bill Milkerson, the oldest person to ever win a major, the PGA, PGA Championship at 50 years old, the second yes, best of his generation, one of the best of all time. Shout out to him, much love. I know he gives money to people that is to the poorest schools like Jackson State and other schools. He's a true legend, true king. I appreciate Phil. From all I heard, a great guy. Don't know him personally, so I don't want to just put my name <laughs> on it. I, I don't put my name on people I don't know, so I don't want to stamp that. But from everything I heard, yeah. the work he do, from the work he do, behind the scenes, you never see it bragged about. Great dude, man. Shout out to Phil Mickelson, legend, man. 50 I'm just going to stay with the whole sports aspect of it because we know what happens. Shout out to Kwame Brown. Uh, uh, we know what happens when we praise somebody and we really don't know them like that. Some 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 things might come out about. I don't know. I can We're praise just the talk actions, about though. The, I can praise the giving money to the schools and all that stuff. Shout out to them for that. Regardless, we just want to say thank you for 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 your contribution to, to golf because I feel like I've been hearing Phil Mickelson since I was a kid. And honestly, now that I think about it, fifty is not too crazy for me to hear about him as a kid. But uh, he he just seems like when I was like. 1960s or 70 golfers like you know what i'm saying <laughs> like what's name uh tom Ar tom arnold or tom what's arnold palmer the, the, Ar dr the name the drink named after yo you gotta know your I'll golf stuff bro no first and foremost first and foremost i was looking at the can the <laughs> half and half it lemonade now so shut up <laughs> i was i saw it in my head and i seen him patting somebody on the back on the on the can so if you be quiet i know um <laughs> but shout out to uh shout out to arnold palmer as well but yeah man phil mickelson i feel like you've always because he's always in like the leaderboard like every time there's a pga thing especially with tiger in it it was always tiger facing or chasing phil mickelson so that's how important he is and for him to win a pga tournament at his age and and still be who he is and not have his as many duis i mean uh legend duis as some other people we know. Uh, shout out to Tiger Woods. Yeah, shout out to Phil Mickelson. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Tiger, man. He's number one in his generation. Probably number one of all time. Um, He's the Jordan of golf. Unfortunately, some situation in life, he probably won't. He might catch it. How many back to of Jack Nichols? We just seen Phil get it for 50. So anybody rooting for Tiger? You got seven more years. Can he get two more? Hey, man. Golf is a sport where you can go for a while. Yeah, just like kind of like being a point guard or a, or a quarterback you can go for a while yeah so shout out to, so that get, seeing phil do it at 50 you might see tiger do it at 50 but shout out to both of them legends of golf can't wait to see when tiger get back maybe him and phil can go at it just one more time at the old age you know what i'm saying just one more time like back in the day and, and, and you know that got me to thinking about somebody else that might win it all at 50. lebron james and he played against the Phoenix Suns today, and they lost 99 to 90. Absence of AD. No, not because he's not healthy or anything. He didn't show up to play. What's your thoughts on game one of LeBron James and the Lakers versus Phoenix Suns? Shout out to Chris Paul after an injury. 
sustain in this show. He was 100% injured, by the way. Anybody say he fake? He is not. That man chained his whole shot. Because he and was- you tweeted about that. Make sure y'all follow 99 Zell May on, uh, on Twitter. He tweeted about this. He told y'all in real time, absolutely about this. And I noticed this shot changed, so shout out to you for that. Go he ahead. started shooting like this and pushing it. That's why he couldn't shoot past a certain distance. But DeAndre... There was more elbow and not so much up. Yeah. yeah I know what you mean. Because he was shooting off the side. Plus, he was shooting just pure off the side because he was pushing the ball more so than anything. But yep. DeAndre Aiden still looked, well. still looked young in a lot of situations. But he beast it. He had a Bridges hit him with a nice pass right in the middle. He caught it. Dunk wide open. He passed it out for a turnover. I'm like, ah. Uh. Then he got the ball LeBron one on one. Had the left hand, but he tried to dribble under 24 seconds. He's still doing young people stuff, but that boy worked. That's one thing I know about Phoenix. If not named, they worked. <laughs> From Bridges to P- Payne. Payne got kicked out of the game, which is, again, a young mistake. Chris Paul is injured. You can't do stuff like that. You almost cost your team. <laughs> but he came. He played big minutes. He, they, 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 they young. They wild. They run into you. This was probably the sloppiest playoff game of any of them. This game looked yeah. horrible. It was a lot of 24 seconds, a lot of lane violations. A lot of weird arm pulling. <laughs> a lot of just knocking each other off their feet. It was a sloppy yeah. game. It was. That's why you get 99 to 90 right there. <laughs> That's how you get both teams scoring under 100 points. A sloppy game. These referees, Philadelphia Simpsons would love you, referee. Because B was in fact. We'll talk about that in a minute. But <laughs> that game, this game was... It was a sloppy game. And I can't wait for you to get to I can't. We, we, obviously, we are going to get to that. Yeah. I can't wait for you to speak on it because, wow. But uh, <laughs> other than that, though, yes, 100%. That Laker game, um, shout out to the longest fourth quarter of all time. I think that let's get into to conspiracy theories because we talk about that time to time. You might see that on one of our shows later on this week. But we talk about sometimes they say that the NBA might be rigged. LeBron James was, if, if I let 29 other teams say, he wasn't supposed to play in this game due to some COVID protocol uh, 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 obstructions and and things like that. That he just that he just flat out can do whatever he wants to. That's what people say. Um, so they say that yes, LeBron, you're supposed to lose game one because you wasn't even supposed to be there. Um, but I think the biggest thing is if LeBron wasn't there, it didn't matter. AD wasn't going to show up. He did not. He didn't show up at all. AD has this thing where he just just demotivated. And this series gonna come down to something yes. simple. Yeah, you understand. <laughs> yes, some days he just don't want to do this. But this series gonna come down to one thing. Is it gonna Devin be? Booker? If you listen to me last week on this same podcast with my boy Trail, aka T A underscore eight fifty, absolutely great episode. By the way, go back and listen to it. If you listen to my breakdown of this series. I said, he asked me, what's one player that could take the next step and take over? I said, Devin Booker has the chance to be a Kobe Bryant if he takes it. Same thing with Ben Simmons could be the next LeBron if he take it. Those players like that specifically has the skill set. That don't mean they're going to do it. But to win this series, especially with Chris Paul with the shoulder, I don't know if a shoulder contusion is going to get back 100%. Maybe maybe if they end it quick, some by some miracle. I don't think it's going to end. AD ain't going to be motivated. But if Devin Booker can just be like, no. Nah. <laughs> nah. Not on my watch. Yes, because he dropped his first play 34, what is it, 7 and 5? Amazing game. He's going to have to do more than that to win this series. He can keep doing Devin what Booker he did from- and go to 7 from- and lose. Devin Booker came from Michigan, and he went down to the sun-blessed sands of Gulfport, Mississippi, and did his thing. Uh, the mouse point. Drake got the jersey. Come on here. Hey, that boy, that boy's that boy's a dog. We should be worried and alarmed as a Laker fan because he can do what he did today because he was the problem. If Devin Booker has a bad game, we're not talking. 
and they barely had 99 points. They they couldn't go over 100 points with D Book having a good game. So that's something that. And then now we're looking at Chris Paul being hurt. D Book need 50 point games, y'all. He gonna have to step it up tonight. Aiden gave him a lot of help, so he didn't have to drop 50. Aiden played like I ain't never seen him play. Like I said, he still does the young, stupid things. He doesn't take the dunk when he gets it. Mikael Bridges misses opportunities to hit Devin Booker when he cuts, and he just takes a wild shot. They still really young. Mikael Bridges, I'm going to praise his defense. Long 7-for-1 wingspan. He what plays you? defense at a high level. He's not good as Ben Simmons. But he's close. He he doesn't have the strength or the height Ben has, but he plays similarly. And he doesn't have that reputation where they just run 30 screens to get him off of. <laughs> so and, 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 and here's the secret. He kinda can shoot. He can. Cam Jordan <laughs> is wild as I don't know what, but he a hustling some of God. My yes, man was knocking no. LeBron and everybody just running. That sucker, that sucker can go, Katie. <laughs> Yo, he was just knocking people. Man, he double teamed, and he said, "Good double." And he said, "No, it wasn't." He ran straight into the man. <laughs> he just took off. <laughs> he took off and just ran into the man to free throw line. I'm like, "What are you doing?" But yeah, but they hustle. That's one thing they're gonna do. They're gonna hustle. They ain't as talented as the Lakers. All pure basketball, unless Chris Paul healthy, then they even kind of even more even. But without what Chris Paul would have shown in contusion. Booker is on that list. I think Booker could take that step. But it's up to him if he do it to, be, to lead him past the Lakers. And if they get past the Lakers and Booker take that step, who am I to say where they go? <laughs> Absolutely. And I want to say this. Lakers big man. Let me shout out Andre Drummond. Oh, he, he was serious on those rebounds. He was serious on the glass. That's beautiful. But for whatever reason, how can we fit Gasol in there somehow to do what he does? There's something he could have done to help this team be over 100 points today, over 90 points. There's something that he could have done, did offensively. But with, I guess if you're doing bad offensively, you want somebody to crash the boards. Mark Gasol wasn't going to do that. But if you're clicking on offense, you want Mark Gasol out there. Uh, I, but we didn't see much of Mark today, if any. Uh, and and Drummond was in there like he was supposed to be setting screens, and he was he did a great job off the hustle stuff. But it's just like he did he did skip out on a couple of mid range jumpers that he can hit. I didn't like that. I I somewhere when you're looking for offense, come on Vogel, you got to figure this out. You got to figure out when you need some offense. And he 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 didn't he didn't trust it. But uh, shout out to the big man of the Lakers. I, I, I uh, that's not named Anthony Davis because I, I terrible performance. But Gasol can be that body that gets on Aiton that will bother him a little bit, make you tired down the stretch. Because ninety points is unacceptable in the Western Conference, and that's all I got to say on the Laker on the Laker Phoenix game. Any last thoughts on that? The Lakers a big team. They try to bully you, so they scores used to be like that, and. A hustle scrappy team the way Phoenix, especially they bench, they bench is scrappy. Cam Jordan out here throwing balls at people. I'm like, bro, you can't do that, but okay. <laughs> but yeah, that was But uh, they say the campaign is over. <laughs> they kicked him out. Yeah, bro. But yeah, they they played a great first game. Most people said they're gonna lose the series. I'm like, y'all disrespecting that team. If Booker take that next step, like I said, I, I predicted the Lakers to win. But if Booker take that next step and go to that level I said he could get to, it could be a problem. Yeah, it's going to be a problem for everybody. Problem. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, let's stay in L.A. Let's stay in L.A. for a second. <laughs> the Clippers versus Luca. <laughs> hey, you too small. Patrick Beverly, you too small, boy. He said the F word, by the way. I'm not. You know what? We keeping it real. Kwame got us keeping it real out here. You you two F is small after he got an N1 on Patrick Beverly. Luca did what he does. Yo. He annihilates the Clippers. They have no answers for him after they fiercely stared down that L. 
<laughs> How do you feel about that Clippers Dallas Mavericks game? Mavericks come out with the win. I felt Luca took it personally when they ran from the Lakers to play them. And Luca said, You must have forgot when I whooped you last year, boy. Hey, we what gotta talk like Kwame. Gotta talk like Kwame. <laughs> You who hurt him? Who hurt him last year? I'm gonna year? jump up all of them. Last year? Beverly now. The Clipper. He said, hey, I'm gonna jump on you like a, like a trampoline, boy. Like a trampoline. <laughs> and Lucas now, said, you I'm must have got you. that whooping I gave you last year. You coming back for a second. Now you ain't lost a game to the Clippers since Kawhi, I mean to Portland since Kawhi got the and you're going to run from them and lose to Houston, the worst team in the league, to play us? You must have forgot who I am. Let me remind all three of y'all, Beverly, Paul, George, and Kawhi, let me remind y'all who I am. 30 points, triple so doubles, well, like I averaged last year. Absolutely. <laughs> so it's essentially the same. It's essentially the same Clippers team as last year. And it's essentially the same Mavericks team as last year, but there were some differences. Porzingis was not there. Somebody undercut Luca to make him sprain his ankle, and he still showed out in that game. There was a lot going on in that in that game. That, I think that was Lemon Lemon Pepper lose one of his suspension. I don't think he played him. very much. So, with that being said, hey Dallas, Dallas might get the Clippers out of here. I'm sorry because they they have Porzingis this time. They have a healthy Luca, and Luca feels good. You know when you know when them white boys and them Europeans get their hair cut a certain way, and they put it over like this, and yeah, they comb over you. <laughs> Y'all better watch out now. That triple double hey, comb over. That's what you call it. Luca. I'm, I'm. Here's my prediction. Since this is like game one, or round one of the playoffs, game one, we're recapping that. Hey, it's about to be an amazing blow up of biblical proportions of the Clippers. And it all started with a few tweets yesterday, or I'm sorry, on Saturday. That pandemic P was trending 15 minutes into the doggone game. <laughs> two, I'm two, two, two back to back air balls. Talk to him about it, Zelman. Yo, I'm not on him today. I said, I'm waiting. We're done. We're I'm waiting wait. on him. I'm waiting on him. Okay. Hey, all I got to say is he had a bad game. I'm not going to diss no bad <laughs> game he had, bro. I'm not going to diss him for it. Hey, last year, my, I told you, my beef with you last year, you took three oh. shots in the game and refused to hold Luka and then go on and say, I'm not the scorer when you're the leading scorer on the team. Don't, don't do that. Don't disrespect me like that. You disrespecting my basketball now. You the leading score on the team. How you not the score of the team? Now that yesterday you shot the ball. You just <laughs> missed. Okay. All right. All right. Now you keep missing. Maybe you just not good as we thought you were. Okay. I can deal with that. But but that just game one. Keep shooting. Keep doing your thing. Try to get your get back to that 28 to 27 that you average because you was a you're a great basketball player. Just don't don't go and shoot three shots because I'm Next Sunday, you go, you gonna tweet, you gonna hit me up on YouTube again. See, see, see. I to all our people that are listening and the people that are watching, right there. You know you gotta like and subscribe on YouTube. Overall, ninety nine NT catches on Spotify, Apple, all that Google, Follow. SoundCloud, everything. We're there. We're there. Make sure you subscribe, comment, talk to us. Let us know we're wrong, but talk to me nice. Behind the scenes, he's dogging PG. And if you don't, if this is your first time ever listening to one of our sports shows, this is pure sarcasm. He's not, he's not being nice to to PG right now. Paul George, for those who don't know, yo, he's not being nice to Paul George. Yo, don't I told y'all, I'm not. Yo, I, that, 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 that man that. came at me last year because I dogged him last year, and I want people to know why I dogged him. I said if he don't show up. He showed up. He just didn't play well. That's all I want you to do to try. Nah, like I said on the show, maybe you're not as good as I think you are. But sh sh show me. At least try. Last year, he did not try at all, and I went off on that man. And and at the beginning of yesterday game, the first half, he didn't try at all. He ended up, what he was, six for eight in the second half. 
Okay, you got it cooking in the second half. All right. <laughs> that first half, you was trash. I even put it on Twitter. I said, oh, Unico Trey, <laughs> are we doing this again? <laughs> well, I go viral like, this time. <laughs> I was trying to mind my business and watch the game. And here come my, here come my Twitter mention. And, here, and I didn't even know that he was trending. I wasn't paying attention, like, even to the game. And I was like, oh, here he go. But not paying attention because it was kind of like a good game for a second. And here it go. They on Paul George only. <laughs> no Kawhi. Shout out to that slam dunk by Kawhi. That was a huge dunk. And yeah, that picture was cool if they were the one. When they and, they each other, and they just look at the most lame dunk I've ever seen. Like if if Kawhi Leonard was to dunk on Shaq like that, I don't even think I I Hey, oh, it's, I, a, I, I, it's, it's an after the image of him, Paul George, and old boy just standing looking like this while he's on the floor. That look, that was a cool picture. But then uh, but Shannon Sharp L. used it with an L, and it kind of looked cool still, but it was with an L. So Shannon Sharp took that cool picture and made it an L. Shout out to Uncle Shannon. Thank you, Uncle Shay Shay. Anything <laughs> else to say about the Clippers before we start looking in a little bit? Oh, we can keep staying in the, in the West. We're going to stay in the West, so we're talking about Melo back in Denver. Let's go. Before we get into this, and then and then go in your spiel. Before we get into this, go into it. Go off. Say what you got to say. Kwame Brown has been telling y'all all week about this stuff. Carmelo Anthony had to beg for a job. He showed out. Game one against the Nuggets. Yes, y'all missing that point guard. Yes, it's fine. Y'all going against the might be the MVP. Y'all made Carmelo. Carmelo has been balling for the last two years that y'all allowed him back in the league. What's really going? We're not talking about that right now. Oh, uh, 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 Carmelo Anthony did a great job yesterday playing against the Nuggets in a W. Shout out to. Shout out to our friend, Damian Lillard. He did a great job hitting some crazy shots down the stretch. C.J. McCullough, he definitely, he definitely showed up in a few spots with some great shots. Shout out to the, shout out to the Trailblazers. I think they're a dangerous team, especially when you got a Carmelo Anthony that's playing like, did you see the threes? Did you see him just swish? Did well, you see him feel like, did you feel like, did you feel like, Carmelo was playing as a Denver Nugget in year two, three, four, five, six, or seven. I have flashbacks. Go ahead. He had to remind them. Y'all boo me? Remember who took y'all to the last Western Conference Final? We ain't talking about last year. We don't, we don't, we don't, we put the asterisk on that. <laughs> Shout out to Jamal Mary. I love Jamal Mary. But absolutely, absolutely. And, and, and get healthy, get healthy, get healthy. Yes. Jamal Mary is a dog, and it showed yes. last night. As much as I love Michael Porter, he's still too young. But he was balling. He was balling. He was balling. He always balled, though. But he's still young. He still make those young mistakes. The same thing Aiden did. He misses every. He missed the easy pass to um. I can't remember who it was, but he had him on the thing. Instead, he he saw it late. He got upset with himself. Took a mid range. It was it. Took, but it's some. Points in that game, he made a few offensive mistakes, but he was balling. Yeah, Jokic do what Jokic do. Melo said, "Y'all boo me. I'm gonna remind y'all why y'all cheered me for seven and a half years." <laughs> and when y'all finally gave me a company other player besides an older Allen Iverson, when y'all gave me even an older Chelsea Billups, we went to Western Conference Finals. Older Chelsea Billups. We went to the conference finals, so just I just want y'all to remind you. So when I hit the twelve points in the first quarter, you know what it is. And Denver, I don't know. They looking like they might be a first round exit without Jamal Murray. I I think I said that from the beginning. I feel like the 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 missing piece here because if you're getting what you're getting out of Carmelo Anthony. You're going to say whatever you get out of Damian Lillard, that's a given. That You're supposed to get 30-plus points. C.J. McCollum, you're supposed to get X amount of points. We know that C.J. McCollum can be streaky. We know him. But when you get something out of Nurkic, too, Ooh, Nurkic, you can't lose. You can't lose. Yeah, Without Jamal Murray, that's that, that's that other one that you can't double then with, M with Michael Porter and Jamal Murray. You can't double? Ooh. 
and jokish the way he passed. But without him, don't look good for him. A absolutely. You got anything left on that Western Conference game? We done with the Western Conference right now. By the way, look at last uh, week if you want to see their predictions. We know we got the Grizzlies coming. We got the Grizzlies playing against uh, uh, Utah. I believe uh, that boy is out. Yeah, Donovan, uh, Donovan Mitchell Donovan is Mitchell's out tonight. Out. So we'll we'll have to see. I feel like Grizzlies versus Utah is actually a matchup because Gobert's Gobert can't give you the defense that you want. But I mean, I think that 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 Johnson boy might be able to do something down there and get get enough points because Gobert is not going to give you the points that you need. It so is. where's the point production come from when you don't have when you don't have that young man down there in Utah? Well, one thing I know is they it's almost the end of the first quarter. Memphis only got 17. So when we play D, <laughs> it don't matter. We only got 20, but you got 17. So this the right now, this is the well 22 17 now in the first quarter. So we are I'm, doing this. I'm game gonna live. make my prediction. My prediction, this is our live prediction right here. The game is going on. Um, I'm gonna say that 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 ooh. I had John Moran spent a lot of he spent a lot of energy because it took him 29 shots, I believe, or, or 30 some shots to 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 try and stay up with Curry. And I think he spent it all there. So I think they might may go ahead and lose uh, game one based off of fatigue. I'm gonna say that too because without him, they are you top 24-17 in the first. Okay, we got that. But yeah, Utah, they defense like it's going to dominate them, though. The Utah is a good defensive team. John Morant usually like floaters. The one thing Rudy Gobert is amazing at is stopping floaters. <laughs> I don't, if he yeah, don't like he's doing, a problem with floaters. Yeah, he don't like, like he floaters. really makes you change your whole thing. Like, <laughs> absolutely. He loved those. But yeah, that's the that's what we got so far to them. We're moving on to the Eastern Conference. Now, now some people that you love a lot. I think we should go ahead and start the East. We started with my favorite team, which happens to be in the West. Let's start with your favorite team, which is in the East. One the seed. Philadelphia 76ers played against uh, what, what, who, who that was? They played against the Wizards. That's Westbrook versus Westbrook and Bradley Beal versus Joel and B, Ben Simmons and the rest of the game, but somebody was a Harris. big dog. You gotta put but this. somebody was a big dog that wasn't the first two on the 76 Talk about your game today, brother. You got to talk about Tobias Harris. He got the ultimate mismatch because the Wizards have problems guarding small forwards. They have all year. If you don't, if you want me to remind you, the play-in game, Jason Tatum played small forward, had 50 points on that guy who I don't know who he is, but he can't guard anyone. <laughs> So when he so they literally have to put a little bitty netto in the game to guard somebody because he hustles, and then Tobias Harris just goes off for twenty eight in the first half, just like Jason Tatum went for like thirty five in the second half because the Wizards have no one to guard forwards at all, and that's gonna be a problem for the series. And this series probably gonna last five games. I think Westbrook and Bill will somehow pull off a miracle game. Mm, I was gonna ask you, do you get do? You do you think Westbrook got something left in the tank right now for the rest of this series? Is, is he going to dog up? It, that Philly's Philly big. <laughs> Philly big. Bill scored 33, and they was a struggle 33. He was fighting for them 33. Ben was hounding him, and then he was getting all those pick and rolls to get him off of him, and he was getting them layups over the top of Embiid and Dwight Howard because, like I said, they're a big team. <laughs> And then oh, shout out to Dwight Howard, the defending champion. He was out there too, y'all. And y'all can't forget his impact. I know it doesn't show up in the score sheet, but sometimes being big and being there, it can do something for you. Yeah. But Tobias is a matchup problem. And being a matchup problem, they got Westbrook, fortunately, got him in foul trouble on their end. So he, but. So he got him out for a lot of the game, which kept the game close for a long time. Because if you watch the beginning of the game, Billy dominated. So they kept so they got they got him beat in foul trouble. Philly couldn't hit a jump shot in the first half, which they gonna do at times. Cause Shake Falcon and you know, now if Shake and Falcon and all of them get hot and Seth Carey and all them and Danny Green stay hot on the road, it's gonna be a sweep. 
Unfortunately, that's not the MO. <laughs> on the road, so I'm thinking they're going to take one, but it's just a matchup night where for this is the second worst team in the entire playoffs for the Wizards to play. Besides Brooklyn, because again, mm. the small forward problem, and there is no better scoring small forward than Kevin Durant. <laughs> so this the only, this this is a better matchup for them on that end. The only reason this is a worst, the only reason this is a horrible matchup for them is because they got two matchup problems. Because I don't, they can't hold him B, they can't hold Tobias, and if you look at the stat sheet, thirty seven and thirty two, they kind of broke. It's looking that way. It's looking, it's looking bad for the Wizards. I, I don't see. Um, Bradley Beal reminds me of C.J. McCollum without Damian Lillard. Like at this point, like I, we just, we don't. I don't know what to make of Bradley Beal at this point in my life. Like I just really don't know. Like he's good. He's a superstar, but man, it's some, it's some things. He just hasn't really moved to that super superstar level like we'd like for him to be. He's no James Harden. And some, like I said, people expect people to be something. Like I said, Ben might never develop a jump shot, but his game today will show what his impact is. His hounding defense. That man had about five deflection steals, and they counted too. I think he had like six steals or something, six or seven steals, with 15 mm -hmm. rebounds, 15 assists. Would I like him to be aggressive when he had mismatches on him? Yes. Would I like that? But it was a stretch when – when the wizard was up 77 to 73, they put Ben Simmons back in the game and he started doing all these aggressive jumping at the little person. Ben Simmons is a huge guy. So when these smaller guards see him coming, they embrace and then the other person come to help because he's huge. Even if you know he ain't going to shoot it, you see a 6'11, 240 pound man coming at you for a fast, you're going to react. <laughs> and he hits Tobias, he hits Seth twice. All of a sudden, they up. Eight point. He had Danny Green coming off that corner on that little stretch right there. All of a sudden, they up nine. All Ben Simmons assists. All of a sudden, he had 12 assists all of a sudden. And that's an impact. Him pushing the ball, just the fact that him pushing, even if you know he ain't going to shoot, caused the impact because he does, unlike Draymond, he does have a layup package. He doesn't use it a lot, but trust me, he can finish with both hands. He's good around the rim. He just mm -hmm. doesn't do it often, but. But that little swing pass is a threat, and they and the fact that he's, according to most people, he's the fastest player in the league. According to a lot of NBA players, I heard when he was talking about fast player in the league, that's a threat. So he did his own thing to win the championship. He got to step up more because Doc is weird, and he want to put Shake Milton on because again he's mediocre. But we ain't gonna talk about this. Nothing. We'll, we'll get on Doc <laughs> another day. Let him get into the playoffs a little bit more. Maxi over my... Milton. Come on, bro. I love Shake, but he ain't playoff ready. He'll get there, though. He'll get there. Especially with the, if they keep him for the next four years or so. They can, he'll, he, he'll show up. But I got I to give my props to Ben Simmons because you were talking about uh, his impact in different ways. There was three and a half, over a little three, a little over three and a half left in one of these quarters. I can't remember. He did a hook. He did a hook shot. He missed it, but he got his own rebound. New 24. That's what Ben Simmons does for you, and we don't count that. We don't count that he, he, it, he, can, he can do what he wants to. He can crash the boards. He can D up. Dude's a problem. He just can't freaking shoot. Like, that's I, – I You know who I would compare him to that we give a top 50 player to? Dennis Rodman? He not, he not as flashy as Dennis Rodman. This Ramin never shot the ball. But guess what he did to you? He rebounded. What Ben do? Rebound. He defended. Ben defend. Dennis well, Ramin can pass Dennis very Ryman well, by the way. Dennis, Dennis Ramin can pass very well. People don't know that. Ben can pass very well. Now, dribbling and speed, Ben is ahead of him. <laughs> but Yeah. And plus, Dennis could get double way more than Ben could on defense because he can hand check and Pull your pants down and stuff like that, but without getting a foul call, I dare you to push some of that. Now you get a tick. <laughs> you can keep that in game. <laughs> but, but yeah, but Ben does. He has a great impact on the game. I wish he, I wish he'd take that next level. Like I said, could he be the next LeBron? 
It doesn't appear to be. Still, ha he's still young. Like I said, he just turned twenty five. Like I told said last week, when people hit that twenty six range, it's when they take over. Most people didn't know who Giannis was to he was twenty five. Yeah, it took a while for us because he's like mid mid first round. Yeah, nobody knew who like Giannis 15, was, 16. but since Ben was a first pick, he gonna have more pressure. On. So that's just what it is in life. But like I said, Giannis was this age before he actually took over and became an MVP. So. Ben Simmons is getting a pass as a number one first round pick. We'll have Kwame Brown on next week to explain that to y'all. <laughs> anything else else on this game before we get on uh, what they would say was the favorites? We'll see. Let's go. We got the Nets playing the Celtics. And it was kind of like a relatively competitive game. And at some the worst point, game Kyrie, of the weekend. And at some point, Kyrie decided that. He was going to just start hitting, hitting, put back layups, put back like he was playing like a big man today, or the other day rather. Shout out to Kyrie Irving. A uh, shout out to Kevin Durant taking a nasty spill. Oh my gosh, I should have seen him fall. Yo, if I, and uh, James Harden, James Harden just doing what he does. And you know what? Honestly, the game was close because in the first half, Brooklyn wasn't hitting threes. Reminds me of Houston when they lost that one game. Because they didn't hit any threes at all. Oh, for 21. <laughs> and the second half, Brooklyn showed out. Because I don't believe that Kevin Durant's just going to have a bad day. Harden's just going to have a bad day. And Kyrie is just going to have a bad day from beyond the three point arc. The way that yeah, I, the, line, the stars will never align in that way. And Brooklyn started hitting threes. Tatum. He did the best that he could, I would say. Um, I believe they did. Uh, the Nets got a little home cooking. They got a little home cooking, but there wasn't nothing they could do. Marcus Smart, he did the best he could. You know, he's always playing for dear life every game. So there's that. Tristan Thompson, this was what, what was most incredible to me about that game. KD went up for a three. Tristan Thompson couldn't get there. He could not reach where Kevin Durant releases. That was insane to me. No one can. What's your thoughts on the game? Yo, KD, the longest dude, his wings ran like 7'7". Seven, seven. Tristan, Tristan is a long guy. Durant taller and longer. Durant seven foot. He, he, bro, I saw him at the Olympics looking Tyson Chandler. I, Tyson Chandler 7'1". You ain't looking at another 7'1 man and I talking about you 6'9". Get out of here. But they finally told him he was 6'11". He was making up. And he probably didn't have shoes on when he was 6'11". So he's 7 foot of shoes. I'm guaranteeing you that. But he's incredible. Boston doesn't have what you need to threaten, Britt. Enough scores. They're missing Jalen Brown, y'all. Don't forget. I don't think you I don't think you can go in the shootout with Britt. I think you just got to dog him. <laughs> That's the only way I think you're going to beat them. Because if you go in. Kyrie off. If you go in. Kyrie off. Oh, if Jimmy Butler get Kyrie in the second round, he gonna call him all kind of n words, and he <laughs> we know it. But but again, oh, I, that was, that's intriguing. I do want that, but I don't know if it's gonna happen this year. But we'll see. It's uh, we're gonna talk about that game in a minute. That's one of the games I want to talk about the most, actually, because that's the most intriguing thing. We might say that for last, because I want to talk about it. Let's, so. let's save that for last. Honestly, do you have anything else on this game before we get on to the Hawks and Knicks, who uh, ended in, in a thriller? I want to talk about they Tatum did his thing. Kimba got to step up. They don't. They are a finesse team, and finesse team will, I'm guaranteeing you this. I'm going to actually say this. A finesse team will never beat Brooklyn. I don't think Brooklyn is unbeatable. Everybody I know ESPN tell you Brooklyn is unstoppable when all three are healthy. No, they can be beat. But I'm telling you this, a finesse team will never beat them. Nine like, games together, the big three had. Yes, and you nine win. games. And they ain't got they ain't got challenged by dogs yet. So that's all you need. When they get when them scrappy teams get them, we're gonna see something. But until then, Durant gonna have 30, Kyrie gonna have 27 and Harden gonna have twenty one and a triple double, <laughs> because that's because to be honest, you can't stop them. You just gotta make it ugly. You can't stop them. They them three and with Joe Harris shooting, 
And then they don't like, have a big to slow the game down from him either. So come Boston big is Tristan Thompson. Shout out to him, but he's not a scoring threat that you could just like, oh, pass the ball in the paint. Shout out to LeBron for making him $90 million. Go ahead. And then at the last point I want to make is without they they not gonna hustle when the thing they ain't they ain't gonna be diving for the ball. They'll out die Brooklyn as we, I mean Boston as we saw because again that's a finesse team. I know a lot of people are like, oh, look, they held Boston to this amount of points, 93 points. I'm like, first off, Boston only got Tatum, Kimball didn't play well, and Jalen Brown is hurt. So <laughs> I don't know what you want them to do. I, I still think that 104 to 93 is relatively close. It was just a couple of, you know, fouls down the stretch that kind of extended the lead. So, I mean, it kept it close. It's just, man, Tatum can't do this by itself. And, KD, and if I'm Tatum... Let me say about that. KD not going to be that off again. That, that off. Just so, and you had a chance. KD ain't going to be that off again. And f- pray Don't for Evan KD Fournier's legs, by the way. Pray for his ankles. And we put him on like life support. Absolutely. And don't forget that KD does this shit off of 14 shots a game. He doesn't need 28 shots. KD does 30 point games off of 12, 12 shots. It's crazy. So so let's not forget about that. So um, hopefully Celtics can get a game out of them or something. I don't know. Just something to build off of for next year. I don't know what the Celtics are going to do. Honestly, I'm thinking they might. We'll save that for after our first round of episode. <laughs> so let's move on. <laughs> um, Hawks, Knicks, Thriller. Went all the way down to the right wire with 0.9 seconds left. Ice Trey, Trey Young put up the, 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 the Hawks, Atlanta Hawks, up by two to win by 107 to 105. What's your thoughts on that game? And as a matter of fact, it's not even so much the game, the series, because I think it's going to be close like this the whole time. This is the first game winner we're talking about, the fourth game winner of the after regular season, because I don't know what they call the play-in, because the play-in games had some game winners. They were exciting. You had the John Morant over Steph Curry. Steph Curry did amazing with that team. That team is, that man threw that ball to Draymond, and Draymond just threw the ball to the rim, like, <laughs> just threw the ball to go. But Draymond did coordinate a great defensive effort. Wiggins showed up. Poole did his thing, but a lot of the other players should not be on the team next year. You got two mid-round people. You got Oubre coming back. You got Wiseman coming back. People forget they didn't have them too. And you got two picks in the lottery that they have if Minnesota doesn't get a top three pick. If they get a top four pick, they'll have another lottery pick. So they got to protect your top three. So shout out to Golden State. I just want to shout them out. They season done. Shout out John Morant. They're playing right now. We talked about them. And like I said, this is the fourth game winner, the second of the playoffs. So it's weird. I don't get confused. But this game was Madison Square Garden was jumping. <laughs> it's been it was hype like like since Melo left. They ain't been that hype since Melo left. Um Trey Young took it upon himself and said, I'm a superstar. And I'm the I love J- Julius Randle. He's an amazing player. He's an ultimate player. I want him on my team. But he ain't that superstar scorer you need at the end of the game. And Trey Young said, I'm the difference between our two teams. And he hit the game one. And I think that's how the series is going to go because I think they're going to be mostly even. I think skill level, Atlanta, New York, skill level, Atlanta up here. Go get it, this. New York is up here. And I think it evens out, but I think Trey Young, at the end of the day, just like in game one, is going to be what defines this series. Maybe Imagine that- if that kid was six foot six, man. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kill it, but he hit an amazing game winner tonight. That was an amazing, that's a good series. I'm looking forward to it. Ain't my favorite series. We're going to talk about that last, but. I'm right there with you on this. Uh, I, I think this is could be a six or seven game series. It could go either way any night. Because again, when you have one player that's that's the best on the court, in a sense, all it takes is for one off night, and it's not it's not very it, it's pretty rare for them to have four straight games like that in a row. Obviously, we've seen some great players do that that type of thing, but 
Trey Young is a different type of player that can score in that way. But if Trey Young needs to be thanking his teammates tonight for a holding the Knicks to 105 points. Defense was the difference as well. So you got what you got out of Trey. Defense was was the difference in a lot of these games today. So there was a, that's something we you know we we didn't talk much about, but. These weren't very high scoring games. There was a couple of high scoring games, but these weren't very high scoring games. High scoring uh, game was the one that shocked me. It's the 76 and the Wizards. Yeah. It's like one big team that want to get in the paint and dominate versus a team with only two scores. And you thought that would be, and that was the high scoring game of the weekend. 125 is the high so far. Yeah. And then 118, is that the like the second high score? And, and look, you remember, you remember back in the old days in the West? It was the first to 150 back in the day in the playoffs where it'd be Denver versus Utah and all them and the Lakers. Yeah. It's the first to 150. Golden State and they heyday with Baron Davis and all them. Whoever can get the 150 first, you win. And right now, the got 123. My fault. I, I misspoke. I said, what's at the highest score? Was 118 the second highest? No, Trailblazers got 123. Yeah, so it was the third highest. Yeah. Yeah, 125, 123. And then it's the 118 by the Wizards. Yep. So, Doc, you got to work on that. Which is surprising in itself that the Wizards put up that many points. And that's, isn't that damn shame when you're, like, 118 wins a game for the Wizards most nights. But they got mismatch problems. And if you watch the first six minutes of that game, they only scored six points. That was the crazy part about it. Man. <laughs> That's all life this week. That's what's happening. We're going to try our best to we got obviously. The Miami you know, we, got right. we got the Miami and Milwaukee. We're going to end that one, baby. We're going to get on that one. But before we get into our last topic, we're going to be watching basketball all week. That's going to be a lot of our lives. But don't forget to like and subscribe overall 99 ENT because we got another show, Keep It 99. And we that's what we do. We talk about entertainment that we love oh so much. Um, so that, that comes out on, on, on Tuesdays. We have a great time talking about some of the things we love. So we might be able to get away from basketball enough to talk about things that are going on. And then also we got What's the Trend coming out. You know, uh, And it's not What's the Trend 99, y'all. I apologize. But it's What's the Trend. And uh, we, that's coming out. Do you hear me with Unico Williams? You know we got Purpose on Deck and KCP keep on coming out with lots and lots of tracks. So make sure that y'all listen to that. So let's get into our last topic. Hit that like and subscribe real quick. Just do that for me. Appreciate it. Heat versus Bucks. Tough guys. I'm not sure who the real tough guys are in this series. I'm not sure who the fake ones are. I think Jimmy Butler is proven. I think Giannis is trying to prove himself, but he found himself in a shooting sleeve. But the Bucks came away with a 109 and 107 victory. How do you feel about this series after game one? This is my favorite series. This is my favorite. I said it last week. This is going to be my favorite series. So many reasons why. <laughs> Go ahead and let them know why. Yo, lad, you got the rematch. It's one of the two rematches. Miami embarrassed Milwaukee last year. They beat them in five, wasn't it? I think it was five. Yeah, they beat them in five games. You beat the MVP in five games. Giannis got something to prove. They went and got him Drew Holiday. Chris Middleton looked like he had something to prove hitting that game winner. He like last oh my year, was... he, Chris Middleton showed up. <laughs> yeah, so he like, yo, now y'all ain't doing this like you did last year. Giannis started off rough. Yes, he did. But came back strong, getting all kind of offensive rebound. Bam did Bam and Jimmy Butler shot terrible. They shot horrible. Tyler Hero is on. As my boy Stephen A. Smith say, it's out of APB out for <laughs> He's, he out APB for this man. I didn't even see him on the – he was on the court. I didn't even see him. He like, he just ran away from the ball. <laughs> he been – yeah, we talked about that last week too, so watch that. That's a good – that prediction show was really good. We talked about Tyler Hero and well, now. We have to go back to that at the, end of, at the end of the season to let them know that these predictions that, – that was a good episode, y'all. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Yes, sir. But yeah, Tyler Hero – he got to show up, man. He That's the that's Duncan. the difference from last Duncan? year. What'd he do? Who? Duncan Robinson. Exactly. Uh, Duncan Robinson. Hey, he, hit, <laughs> he, he did what he do, though. He hit what he did. 12 points. And now he kept him in the game. Actually, Duncan Robinson a lot of threes, bro. He kept him in the game for a bit, especially in that second quarter. When they He's looked. the most random 12 to 15 point scorer of all time. 
It's all just like four threes a game, and he's gonna find random time to hit him. But <laughs> but that my man Tyler Hero gotta show up. Last year he was the reason they won. This year he don't show up. The Bucks added some help for Giannis with Drew Holiday, who came up huge. That steal to tie the game on that on the inbounds. That was big. And then that set him up with the defense. He blocked the shot. Oh, was it Jimmy? Or was it Bam? I forgot. I can't remember the play exactly. And then all of a sudden, they got it. Chris Miller, he hit the game winner. They got game one. This whole series going to be tight. You know, Jimmy ain't going to go out playing like that. Giannis can't start off like that. So, I because normally you could just like take keys. Like, oh, Jimmy ain't going to do that again. But Giannis started off horrible too. So you got stuff like that. Is Tyler here going to show up? I, if, if I thought he could, he ain't did it all year. I don't know what got to hit him this year. But if he do stuff to figure out how to show up, that's going to be big. Bam got to play better for Miami. The defense was aggressive. It was a physical series. That was a physical game. Yeah, Like you said, Giannis ended up in the sleeve. The bench death showed for both teams a little bit. But yeah, it was a really good game. By the way, shout out for the for Knicks. Score, I forgot Alec Burke. Shout out to Alec Burke for the Knicks game. He played big oh, and yeah. quickly. I want I, I didn't say their name, but you gotta show love to the brothers. They hooped for the Knicks. D Rose hit the game time floater. It just he ran into Trey Young. So shout out to them on that. But yeah, the Bucks, We're very happy to see Carmelo Anthony and, and Derrick Rose in the playoffs in twenty twenty one, y'all. Because this and there's a point in time we didn't think this that was ever gonna happen again. What if I tell you know it's crazy. Melo played better than LeBron <laughs> in the game one of the East series. That's an insane thing to, to say. That's crazy to say. I promise I wouldn't have said that. It wasn't the most amazing game because you expect LeBron to play better, and I expect he will. I know he got one leg and one arm, and he got an eye patch, and he's on the ground. <laughs> I think. It's giving me, you're not wrong. It's giving me the, it's bringing back the memories of the arguments we would have between D-Wade, Carmelo, and LeBron and how all three of their skill sets were different. And we know one thing about Carmelo. Carmelo does that thing that they want LeBron to do, score. Yeah, we gonna score. And score how he scores. And that scoring comes from hitting beautiful jumpers. I mean. Carmelo was just hitting threes randomly. Every time he touched the ball, that shot hasn't gone anywhere. And that's what we always would say, I wish LeBron had that. Just like we say that we wish Carmelo could pass the ball like that. Yeah. But at the end of the day, LeBron made great decisions and his career went into (laughs) another way. Yeah, because... Yeah, LeBron just chose to go to Miami. Melo chose to go to the Knicks. And for all the money, by the way, we can talk about. Let's say let's say that conversation. What's the difference in those three people's careers? One was LeBron, injured. One made smart bit moves, and the other one went to a team because it was his hometown, and he could have went to Miami with LeBron, but he chose not to. But so, but that was the whole difference. That's the difference between them three. Derrick Rose got hurt, unfortunately, and that happens. Melo went to kept being on teams that LeBron was on at first. The same situation where they were playing on bad teams. LeBron, like, I can't do this. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sorry, and forgive me for forgetting. Where did where did where did Carmelo go after the Knicks? He went to OKC. Oh, he went he went and played with with Russ, and that was it. Yeah. That's when they said it was over for his career. That was a weird situation. That was a very you that was unfair. And it was unfair enough for him to stay up the league for a few years and look at what he's doing right now. That was a the type of player that Carmelo the type of player that Carmelo Anthony is is supposed to outlast LeBron James. But LeBron a physical freak, but we see him weaknesses in that phys I ain't never seen LeBron be hurt, honestly. Now he always getting hurt. It's weird. And I'm like, I my, my whole thing to my uncles was always, this dude was built in a warehouse and he never got in. Because he the only player I can say that played 
18 years and never had a major surgery. Melo had a major surgery in his knee. D. Rose have. Kobe did. Everybody that played eight, 17, 18 years at even 15. I think maybe MJ might have played 15. But that was he different though because he took like five years off and they don't count. But LeBron, uh, uh, Jordan but, definitely got his time off from basketball. Yeah, he took he retired for two years twice. So, but LeBron played straight and never had a major surgery. That's unheard of. That's not even natural. I don't even know a football player that can play five years and don't have major surgery. But that's just incredible for a man to well, jump and run. Even, even Peyton Manning, he was they was having little random surgeries on his knees. Yeah. It took for that neck to get him that that spine. Yeah, even Tom Brady had there. a major surgery. Tom Brady had that 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 one good shot on him. Woo! Yeah, and then he had his surgery, and you, that's the time they had uh, Matt Castle came in for him. Matt Castle. Yeah, and they went 9-7. Nine nine and that's with the year that the Jets finally beat them for the one time <laughs> for the AFC Championship game. But that's how Shout out to Matt Castle for the nine for the nine win season, 9-7 and <laughs> seven for Bill Belichick. Yeah, so. Cam Newton, we looking to see what you're going to do this year. Yeah, so... But yeah, man, it's unheard of. That man don't get hurt. And now, every game it seems like he's getting hurt. That joke could be acting, though. But if if LeBron had that KD situation, LeBron would have been carried out on a stretcher, went to the hospital, got flown in by helicopter. <laughs> came back so, the that's where I'm at. That's where I'm at with this. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> it's not, he's not getting injured every game, there's just some acting involved. But after the game, he can literally tell you that his his eye was <laughs> like Forrest Whitaker though. We saw it. His eye was messed up. Yeah, when he put that when he put that thing in Steph's eye. Come on, man, how you think Steph Yo, feels? I like Steph felt, hold on, Steph felt so bad he had to call J. Cole about that. Through a cracked phone. <laughs> Yo, man, LeBron. Yo, LeBron, I got poked me on the back of his head. <laughs> he went, oh, I went, yo, I hurt, bro. <laughs> Why are you? <laughs> you hit your head. <laughs> LeBron James saw three baskets and aimed at the middle. Draymond Green okay. saw three baskets, he aimed for the left one. <laughs> and hit the side of the goal. <laughs> I saw that. Shout out to the comment section on uh, sports, and I saw that on it. So I gotta give a shout out to the people on the comment section on YouTube. I think they started from Man. the quarter, but that's hilarious. <laughs> hey, hey, y'all gotta y'all gotta stay up with us on Spotify podcast, all all the platforms. If you're listening throughout work, make sure that y'all with us on uh, uh, on overall overall 99 ENT. On YouTube, just just because you can watch us and see this going on, we mean this. We mean what we say. And how we look today, we might be looking a little different next week. Philadelphia might be down 3-1 when it comes down to it. The Lakers might be down 3-1 next week. You never know, but you're going to see it live in direct effect of how we feel, what's going on. Hopefully, the fate of my team, the Lakers, will change. And um, I'm hoping that Philadelphia, I need them to do something with the Nets. So I am slightly Philadelphia or the Bucks. I want them to come out the East, but I'm still kind of scared of them. Now I want the Heat again. So I hope they get tough. Hope they beat up on Giannis. Then I hope they beat up on Kevin Durant. And then I hope the Clippers keep on getting beat up by, I'm a hater. I love LeBron. It is what it is. Any last words before we get off this episode, boy? Remember to keep stomping. Why? Because you never know. Somebody in your life might hit a game winner. Maybe you win some money. Maybe you put bets on games. Maybe you did Dr. Umar. And you need that $1.2 million. Maybe you join ClueCoin or Bitcoin or whatever coin. And it shoots up next week. And then you pull DC. out at the right time. Because you never know. Because if you keep stopping. And buying BC. Y'all know what we talking about if you watch Wednesday.
something amazing. Any day now. Good happen. Keep stumping out because I love y'all. Peace. Peace.